Hi Grizz fans, this is Kent Haslam, Director of Athletics at the University of Montana. And I'm really excited to give you an updated look at our new Student Athlete Academic Center. This will come online in late August. We'll be ready to welcome our new student athletes and our returning student athletes back for fall semester of 2015. We're standing right out in front of the Student Athlete Academic Center, right next to the camp campus rec and, uh, and the Adams Center, where our athletic complex and our athletic offices are. This will uh, fill in that space that's between Campus Rec. Um, one of the neat features about this is certainly all the glass that you see along the front. And then also the design that MMW Architects from here in Missoula did was to try and create this um, eyelash, is what it's called, to be a very welcoming uh, into our, for our fans and for our student athletes. Also becomes kind of an entryway into the Adams Center. When you come up 6th Avenue, you'll definitely be able to see the Academic Center. You'll know that it's there uh, and it will provide a, a great uh, entryway in for the Adams Center. So excited to take you inside, so let's go in and take a look. So now I'm standing inside what will be the main study lounge of the Student Athlete Academic Center. This is the, the second floor. It attaches right back to our athletic offices. This space will be about 4,500 square feet. Uh, the, main, the main part you see here will be just an open study lounge. I'm standing in the spot where there will be a check-in desk. We'll have computers, copier, uh, printers, all that are located along this back wall. But this is really where you'll see the primary activity uh, go on in the academic center. As student athletes come in here, there will be um, various lounge, uh, there'll be chairs and tables, couches, places where they can study and um, get, a pl get caught up on their schoolwork. But this location served us very well when it came to, um, to building the Student Athlete Academic Center. And it certainly wouldn't have been done if we didn't have the multitude of, of donors step up and contribute to this project. It's been great working with MMW Architects, Jackson Construction here in Missoula has done a wonderful job of keeping this built on time and on budget. And uh, this will be, I think, a very popular place for our student athletes to gather as they uh, look out um, across, the, across the Missoula. So along the back, along the back wall, there we'll have an academic advisor office right in here, a little larger space. Uh, we have three academic advisors that currently work with our student athletes and uh, we'll have one that will be uh, permanently located here. Also a little more area in there where there could be individual tutoring sessions and, and that type of thing that could go on in this office. Then you'll see we have three individual um, smaller study rooms where student athletes could gather together in smaller groups. I'd say upwards of six to eight that could get into each one of these rooms to do some small group study. We've moved back to the, uh, to the front corner of the academic center and in the, the largest conference room that we will have in this facility. This uh, conference room will be named in honor of uh, Melinda and Herb Depp. They made a donation to our academic center. They're from the Bitterroot and their name will be on this conference center and, or this conference room. Uh, this will be a place where you could seat uh, you know, 20 or so folks around a large table. Uh, be able to do group study. We'll also be able to use it in, in um, small numbers for meetings that we might have with student athletes or uh, as a staff or those type of things where we're going to want to have a place where we can meet where it's quiet and you can get some things done. The great thing too about the location of this student athlete academic center is it's, it's close to where our student athletes are doing their everyday training, their lifting, uh, their workouts, their practices. So it'll be very convenient for them when they've got an hour in between uh, class and practices where they can come up here, they can get caught up, there'll be wireless in the facility, there'll be other um, things they'll be able to use to get, to get caught up and to make sure that they're staying on task with their academics. So location for this is really, is really prime for us and fills in a space that uh, really was underutilized space and is perfect for an academic center. Now we're down in the basement. This is a new space that was created that will be utilized by the Adams Center. So this is very roughed in space um, that can be expanded for additional locker rooms when the Adams Center hosts basketball tournaments or concerts or other areas. The hole was gonna be dug, so might as well uh, had the Adams Center invest in doing some of this roughed in work for future expansion. This sits just uh, on the north end of the basketball court, so just off where the visiting team leaves and goes to their locker room, there's a green room uh, that many people don't see, uh, but back behind that now is this space that's been opened up and will be used for some future expansion and will be a great addition uh, when we need more locker room space and those things for Adams Center events. Okay, now we're in, in the new lobby, so we're at ground level. These right here are where the old doors were that exited the Adams Center out towards the west. So directly behind this wall 
is into the uh, facility itself where you go down off the north side and uh, down to the, to the floor or into North B, the north side of uh, Bleacher. So this will be a new entryway into the facility. Uh, we envision that folks who already have tickets for a basketball game, for example, can come right through these doors and go and bypass the lines that might be at the uh, ticket windows there in the main entrance. Over here on the side, there will be an, another ticket window that we will sell tickets out of, as well as on the front side, outside of the facility, there will also be a couple of ticket windows there where people can come up and get their tickets. So this will help us reroute traffic uh, during uh, an athletic event and um, will allow us also to, to provide a new entryway and help with that congestion that often would happen during a basketball game. Weather's not that great outside. People are still standing in the lobby trying to get in. This will be another entryway where people can come in and get to their seats quickly when they already have a ticket. Thanks so much for joining us for this quick tour of the new Student Athlete Academic Center. Eventually the name will be changed in honor of the donors that made the million dollar gift to make this facility a reality. And we're excited when we unveil that name. And there's many ways that you can still get involved as we improve the facilities here for our student athletes at the University of Montana. Visit upwithmontana.com to find out ways that you can donate as we move forward with the Washington Grizzly Champion Center, an indoor facility for our golf team, the softball complex is completed, and soon the Student Athlete Academic Center will be done as well. Thank you.